So the Halo Infinite technical preview has just ended, so I'm sure you're probably all wondering what's next for Halo Infinite when are we going to get a chance to play this game? Well, I have some details from 343 to tell you just that, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. So the greatness of the technical preview for Halo Infinite has come and it has passed, sadly. I actually had to move from my apartment into my first house we just moved into during the same weekend, so I was still able to fit in about eight hours of game time within this flight. Obviously, I wish I was able to do some more, but you know, real life comes in the way sometimes. So now you're probably wondering, okay, what's next for Halo Infinite? What's going to happen? Well, I got some information from the community director Sketch himself and a little bit of information beyond that as well, what to expect coming forward for Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these new informational kind of videos and want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button as it really helps out the video and channel. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So community director at 343 Sketch actually put out a nice little thread on Twitter giving us a little bit of a heads up of what's coming up next for 343 now that the fly has closed. Saying, that's a wrap. Thank you to so many Halo insiders for participating in the Halo Infinite MP technical preview. Your time playing, filing bugs, and sharing feedback has already been invaluable to the team as we continue to the road to launch. So what's next? We have teams across the studio digging into the game data, crash logs, bug tickets, and feedback threads to turn into actionable items as warranted. Good news is with this build being a couple months behind, many common issues and themes are already addressed, which is actually kind of great to hear. It does kind of seem odd that we're playing like a build that's so far behind the current like mainstream build that's of Halo Infinite right now. Though it's good to know that many of these bugs that kind of are plaguing the game have already been fixed. I know I'm sure some of them being like the intro screen where some characters would just die randomly. Probably some of the frame rate issues that were happening, some optimization, some lagginess and connection stuff. Like some of the obvious things that you know would clearly need to be fixed have already probably been tweaked in some capacity right now. What this technical preview was really kind of trying to do is stress test the system to see how well Halo Infinite systems could handle a load of players jumping onto the game. And also if there are any kind of interesting bugs that might pop up on the way while playing or interesting player feedback that 343 can have into an actionable item. We actually saw this within the flight that was very interesting. So an example of a bug that might have not been caught previously is this one right here from a community member Vito, who posted a video where two players tried grabbing a skewer at the exact same time and they actually duplicated the skewer to where you actually could have two people, each one of them having a skewer at the same time. Another example on the same pad here where two people were actually trying to get the same sniper rifle at the same time, and when it finally spawns up, both players get a sniper rifle. Yeah, that's definitely an issue that definitely needs to be addressed before the release of the full game. But things like this is the reason why we flanked the game. Now I'm pretty sure that a lot of these issues that most players will come across and then like the duplication thing, I'm assuming 343 most likely knew about that, but they probably just let it slide for this technical preview. Cause like I said, it's not exactly about testing out everything. It's more just stress testing systems to make sure players are getting in and out of the games just fine. The games are loading up all right. And when it comes to like the nitty gritty details of things like that, that's something that can be worked on later on. That's not exactly a blocker when it comes to releasing these flights. Most likely an example of what they were talking about saying that they're taking feedback that may have already been fixed is this tweet from Trippy, who is a Halo professional player talking about he, that he can't really tell if a player is one shot or full shields right now within the game. And I would actually kind of agree with this, at least when I first started playing it for me, it was actually pretty tough to tell who was one shot and who was full shields. So like, yeah, there is like a bit of a flare up that happens when you're shooting enemy players, but it's not just like as visually obvious as previous Halo games especially like in games like Reach and Halo 3. So I actually would agree with Trippy on this one that maybe trying to increase the glow of, of when you're shooting players to try to visually indicate if like, oh, I only need to put like one more burst of a battle rifle in before they burst the shields. Interestingly enough, Sandbox lead Quinn Del Hoyo at 343 replied to this tweet with some promising words stating, hey Joey, we agree as well. The team is actively pursuing this issue. We made some improvements on Friday 
that the team will test internally this week. I just find it so great that the development team at 343 is so actively interacting with players and the community to take feedback and honestly listen to the players and give players what they want. It's something that honestly 343 struggled with quite a long time, right up until about 2017, 2018, where actually Sketch came in and actually really kind of changed the, the culture at 343, I feel like, where he had a more open, honest communication, which is something that was desperately needed at the company. But do you feel like the shield flare was a little too subtle? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to see what you guys have to say. And it looks like there are more ways for you to help out with the 343 flighting process here, saying a subset of participants will receive an official user research survey via email. Please keep your eyes out for this. It's another way to help us get targeted input and your response is greatly appreciated. Not everyone will receive a survey given the scale of this flight. I myself have not received one of these surveys. I haven't really heard anybody else receiving them, so I'm pretty sure that they're waiting until like, the dust settles fully before making people do another thing to help out 343 when it comes to this flighting process. I think right now they're trying to just, just organize the mess of information that they've received just over this weekend when it comes to feedback when it come for the flighting process. And also, I haven't seen anything from the community team at 343 talking about these surveys being sent out yet, so I think they're still on the way or still being planned out when they will release. When they do release, I guarantee I'll let you guys know, at least on my community page here on YouTube. So if you want to catch that post, make sure you subscribe to the channel to catch my community posts when they do go live. This next bit of information kind of gives us a little bit of an idea of what to expect moving forward when it comes to the flighting process and how 343 is going to accumulate all this information. Because it's a lot. Continuing on, Sketch says, once we have a full picture of all these various inputs and data points, we'll work with the team to determine outcomes and answers to key themes and we'll share a recap on Halo Waypoint. This will take some time to complete. Our hope is to land at least another large scale flight properly focused on PVP and other aspects of multiplayer experience. No timing yet, but reminder, you can register at haloinsider.com right now for an opportunity to participate when the time comes. Now we've seen this similar process actually previously through 343 from these MCC flights. Generally these MCC flights kind of last about a week, sometimes two weeks. Uh, though I believe that the season six one was kind of like just like a weekend kind of thing. But generally from the flights process when they start, they generally ran about for two weeks and then two weeks after that they go for some patches and some fixes and taking in feedback from the community and about two weeks after that closure of the flight is when the season would update. Obviously with Halo Infinite things are very different and we only had a weekend to plan for this. And a lot more people played and participated in this flight compared to the MCC flights because obviously it's Halo Halo Infinite. And Sketch mentions that it's going to take a lot of time and they currently don't have a time frame when the next flight will happen, but I'm pretty sure they have a general idea of what they're going to put in for the next flight and when that's going to happen. 343 even hinted at what the next flight will be in the previous development update here. Now in the previous July development update for Halo Infinite, they actually did mention about what we will see in future flights when it comes to Halo Infinite, saying, As we look further ahead, we plan for future flights to expand into more content including traditional PvP arena and big team battle. And like what Sketch mentioned in his tweet saying a larger scale flight for the next one, I'm assuming not only just personnel for people getting invited, but I also believe in just actual game size as well. So given from what we've seen previously about the flighting process from 343 and how short this flight was for Halo Infinite, I could assume something else happening probably within a month when it comes to seeing like a BTB flight happening with just PVP. So my educated guess from what we've seen previously and what we've heard from 343 right now, it seems like my guess would be that early September is when we could expect another flight to happen. My guess would be the second weekend of September, most likely starting on the 9th and probably running until the 12th of September because the weekend before that is Labor Day weekend and in the US it's a holiday so I wouldn't expect to see 
see a whole long flight happen for Halo Infinite. They're gonna want people all hands on dead and maybe having a three day weekend will help recharge batteries for an overloaded weekend for sure. But I guarantee you, if once we get some information, some hardcore details about when the next flight will happen and what kind of content's gonna be in it, you guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, here's a playlist with all my news and informational videos I've been uploading nearly daily about. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.